the Texas House of Representatives, District 68 includes nearly 200,000 people across 10 counties in North Texas, including Montague, Jack, Throckmorton, and Young counties. Next month, Republican voters have a decision to make as they cast their ballots in this primary election. After spending the last three years in Austin, Jacksboro native David Spiller is hoping to secure a second term representing the residents of District 68. There's work to be done. Let's get busy and let's get it done. Carrie Kingsbury, a businesswoman who voted for Spiller in 2021, hasn't been impressed so far. And that's why she's taking matters into her own hands and running against the incumbent. We just deserve better. The Republican constituents are getting so sick and tired of legislators not doing what they say they're going to do. Both Spiller Miller and Kingsbury hope to address property taxes in the next legislative session. Lower taxes for everybody is going to benefit everybody. It needs to be done for both individuals and businesses. And they both agree that the biggest issue facing their district is actually hundreds of miles to the south. We're not on the border in Jack County and House District 68, but the border is the number one issue. Spiller says he plans to move the ball forward with the second term. To do everything we can to secure our border and build our economy. For his home district and his home state. But I'm looking to advance those things even more to help uh, rural areas and places in House District 68, but also other places, rural areas throughout the state. Kingsbury is hoping for a chance to to make a change in the Texas House. I am known as somebody that does what they say they're going to do, and I'm very effective at getting things done. Bringing what she calls Texas values back to Austin. God, country, faith, family, all of those things that we hold really dear in the rural areas. Josh Hoggard, KFDX 3 News. Republican voters will decide whether it'll be Spiller or Kingsbury on the November ballot to face the Democratic nominee Stacey Swan in the general election. Well,